someone asked me the other day to film the whole procedure of fixing a ding, a ding on your guitar and it isn't long before you find someone with a ding in a guitar and in this case it's me. This is my Spanish guitar. It was given to me and it looks like it was ding 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 set up against something hard the whole time. So the th I could take off the whole gloss finish and refinish it. The one problem that I have with that is that that is a, such a high thick gloss. It really is the thickest of gloss. All you need for this is a blade of some sort, good sharp one and super glue. You can use the right super glue to whatever suits yourself. The biggest problem you have with this is not getting the gloss finished to go back again, but getting the wood to be the same color. And I'm hopeful that before I start this, that this white stuff, it looks like somebody maybe used polish or something. Oh yes, I'm very hopeful about that. That looks good. But you can see how thick the gloss is. So if you, you're, you, what I'm doing now, it looks like the gloss is just peeling away in several of these places because when you hit it, it loosens the gloss, the lacquer across everything. And this may end up with the whole neck being taken off. I may have spoken too soon because this looks all loose. If it was fixed, it wouldn't come off like that. Mm. So it's starting to look like the whole gloss neck is going to have to come off. I hope not. It, hopefully it's just where it's been thumped and loosened. Mm, that's not too bad. There's no point in fooling yourself, if you know what I mean. If it's loose, it's loose. You 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 can fix it, but someday it's going to have to be done properly. So if it's loose, it's loose. You might as well take it off and give yourself the job to do properly. Am I getting to the bottom of this now, this looseness? I don't think I am, to be quite honest. The option is that if it's if it's if it's loose but clean. Now, what's this like here? Let me have a little water to clean this up. Just a touch of water. Okay. Little brush. Nobody ever tells you too that you can get it looking exactly like brand new because that'll never happen. Now what the water has shown me is that when the lacquer's on it, it's going to hide the edges of the, the lost lacquer. So maybe we're still in we're still in the game. I'm only going to do this one, do one at a time. This is the biggest one, the ugliest one. Uh, it certainly looks like, certainly looks like uh, the wood has not been stained, or if it has been stained, it's a very permanent stain that's gone through it. Now. What do I do? 
here's a decision I need to make. I'm more interested in how it feels and not how it's going to look because as I said to you earlier I'm making this smooth but as I said to you earlier if you think you're going to get it to look brand new you think again I don't think anybody can do that for you sometimes you get lucky and some things look brand new but uh, that's rare so what I think I'm going to do here, I'm going to get my other magnifying glasses, my my Google my gog, Google goggles, and just look at the, the scratch through this and just see. All right, okay. I need goggles and I need Googles, and I have a little light on this that I'm going to switch on to because I want to see right inside the crack. Okay. Right, okay. I'm gonna see there's a there's a ding. And right, okay, there's bits of stuff in that ding. Maybe it's bits of now it's white looking. Let's see what it's like with water on it. Because water will tell you what it'll look like whenever you put the super glue on it. Yeah. Little bits of. Uh, it's been thumped that hard. Little bits of lacquer have gone into it. So that looks okay. Okay, I scraped that out. You may not have to do this, but this is one that's good to show. It's relatively smooth. I'm just taking my blade and scraping across it. You don't need to worry too much about this if it's just an ordinary thing. I'm just doing this to be fussy because I'm on camera. Right, okay, so if it's wet, what does it look like? It doesn't look too bad. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put this is this is probably going to take two or three layers of super glue. I'm going to lower this down flat now. I don't know that doesn't look that great on the camera. It looks orangey and rubbishy, but we'll see what it's like. That's a nice piece of wood. Okay, I'm going to start slabbering it, slabbering it with uh, super glue. But what I'm going to do is give it a little tilt this way, because that's now parallel. So I put super glue in that. It's going to, uh, it's going to not float away. It's thick super glue, but let me just put something beneath this as well. So right, okay, that's better. It's level that way, and it's levelish that way. So let's get on with the super glue. I'm probably going to have to do more than one coat of super glue on this. Now that looks magic, of course, but it's far from it. Now the next thing I'm going to do is make a cup of coffee because this now has to sit for a good 24 hours. And I don't think you can see it with the quality of lens, but there's a bubble here and there's a bubble there. So when I come back to this, I'll scrape a little bit, but I may have to put another little layer of super glue on. But that's a good thing because super glue can stick to itself. Well, I'm not saying it's a good thing, but it's, a, it's an okay thing because super glue is very good at bonding to itself. And even if it does run the other side, I'm not going to touch it because I want it to stay as smooth as possible. Okay, ciao bye. And as you can see, I put my thumb in it by accident, but that's not a big problem. We'll scrape that out. But what has happened is the super glue has sunk into the wood a bit and left a little bit of hollow, so I'm going to have to put some more super glue on it. Uh, at the moment, it's a bit like a lagoon with the thicker around the outside of it and the middle hollow. 
So this is 24 hours later, so I'm going to put some more on and build it up a bit and uh, do it another day. Yet another coat at some stage, because the super glue does shrink, and uh, we might find out that that's not enough. Okay, bye. Well, there we are. That's two layers of super glue. And forgive me, my sinuses are playing up today, so if I sniff, forgive me. I got a feeling it's going to take more than two, but what I'm going to do now is just reduce it down a bit. Now, the thing about this is when you're scraping, some people put tape there, some people put tape on the blade on each side of the blade so they go down to the level of the tape. I sometimes do that myself but as I'm going to be doing virtually the whole neck I'm not that too worried about the odd scuff here which I'm going to take away anyway. But excuse my sniffing. One of the dangers you have to be careful here is not to go too fast because what you'll do is you'll pull away the super glue and pull away more lacquer. So you've got to go you got to get your judgment right and just do this until you get the feel of it right. Because what you're trying to do is bring the super glue down to the level of the lacquer and no more. Okay, we're back. The card was full, the SD card was full, and just before that I replaced the battery. But nothing has been done. Now, I, hopefully you can see this. That's the outline there, which I can see of the place we filled. It's lovely and smooth, right? But that little white thing, I don't like the look of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to test to see if that white thing is just a blemish or is it something worse. A little drop of water and if the white thing vanishes I'm happy. And the white thing doesn't vanish. Right okay so what I'm going to have to do is dig it out because that looks like it was my thumb. Remember my at the beginning I told you my thumb accidentally hit the super glue and there must have been something in my thumb that had white on it. Up. So let's get the super glue. Correct my bollocks of a mistake. Bollocks, like love, bollocks. 
Let me see, can you still see? You probably can't see this because it's so fine, but I can, and it annoys me that I cannot. So, another little talent. That's a good thing about super glue. I've told you that a couple of times, and it, it actually blends into itself. So, I keep it in the fridge, by the way, the fridge door behind me. Right. So, whenever that heats, when it heats up, whenever that dries out i scratch it off gently because i don't want to take lacquer off anymore the guitar is not quite sitting the way i want it to sit but i'm going to move the guitar and come back to it again whenever it's uh, dried i've adjusted the lights down hopefully you can see it as clear as a bell uh, don't forget we're only dealing with that bit this hasn't been done with and that hasn't been done yet so what i'm going to do now is you remember Maybe I shouldn't have to re revise because this is going to be a straight on video. I screwed up something in there and I had to scrape out some white. So I put some more super glue on. Can you see there with my hand on the way? Maybe you can't. I switched over to my iPhone, but I still can't get you a decent view of the actual scraping. So I'm just going to finish it and uh, let you see it every now and then when I do scrape it. Oh, you, I mean, I suppose it would have been nicer if you had a seen what the scraping was taking off. Let me try this way with around the back of the iPhone. Can you see that way? Oh, I can do it this way. Now, don't forget, we're talking from there to there, which we filled in, not there. Now, these are bruises on the wood. I can't do anything about that. And I'm not worried about doing anything about that as long as the neck is smooth to the finger touch. And now I'm going to get some thousand grit sandpaper and just give it a little rub. I wouldn't normally do this until the whole neck was done. But as I'm doing this, I might as well show you what the final outcome is. When I do that, I feel just the slightest bit. Okay. What the thousand grit sandpaper sh telling me is that there's still a tiny lump there and the blade telling me it as well you're talking minuscule your finger would run across it and hardly feel it and what do I see a little bit of the white that I missed right okay no it's too bad Maybe it's the powder of the glue, we'll see. So that's perfectly smooth now, from there to there. You can still see uh, a little bit of lightness where the super glue is. Let me take this off. Come on, get in focus. Right, you, can you see the lightness where the old lacquer was there? And this is the new lacquer which is of a slightly lighter color. I haven't got a clue what that little white spot is. I don't like it, but let me just see if I can, if it's a bit of powder stuck in another little tiny hole. I'll just uh, pause this. Yeah. It was a little tiny bit of, but this is wet now. Oh, there it is there, right, okay. This is wet and you can see, you can still see the bruising. Didn't say you're going to get rid of that unless you scrape it right down to the neck before you do it, where the bruising's been hit. But you can see that, hopefully you can see it's a perfectly smooth finish now. What I would normally do is I would either put a little bit of, just for you, because I wouldn't do this normally, I'm going to put a little bit of guitar finishing oil on and let you see what it'll look like when it's finished. Uh, 
The finishing oil darkens down the lacquer. Can you see that? The finishing oil darkens down the lacquer and makes it much better. Polish and polish and polish at that. But now we're going to, I'm going to do that and that and that. But that is done. This now don't forget again, we're only dealing from there to there, and we had a big gap beforehand. If you remember, let me switch this light off to see if maybe that'll give you a better idea. Right, I'll do a before and after picture. This is what it was like. And then we'll stop this.